Hello everyone and welcome back. So last week I did promise another hat and I am not going to disappoint. <laughs> We've got a sunflower hat this week. I did go and grab a shower and I cleaned the bathroom and I made a cup of tea because I've been painting all day and I'm losing sunlight and I'm editing the video so I can get it out for tomorrow morning. But I have done it. The hat is still wet. We're almost, almost finished. <laughs> but I have more footage to show you. I'll show you that in just a second. But I am gonna also talk through the paints and things that I've used at the end of the video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, so I got so far into this and I decided that I wanted to add a bit more detail because it was looking a bit more like this, which I know in the video looks really neon, but it's not actually <laughs> that bright. Um, but adding the detail makes it look all a hundred times better. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and keep doing the detail and then add some more flowers, some more sunflowers around the rim because I think that'll look pretty cute. So I did notice that I forgot to do the white highlights on these sunflowers on the outside so I still need to do that but I did pop a tassel on it quickly so you guys could have a look. I do quite fancy it with a big thick suede band, I think it looks really pretty but it's really cute. I do think I want to add a few more sunflowers on and possibly do them on the inside as well but it's probably for tomorrow Steph to worry about. Okay, so I did tell you guys that I would talk about the products that I've used, which there aren't very many because most of the work was me pretty much just painting and painting and painting and painting. <laughs> so fabric paints, I just use PBO fabric paint, which is really easy to use. You just use it like paint. I even mix my colors and stuff. All you have to remember is leave it. I leave mine for 24 hours to dry and then I go over it with an iron on like a medium heat for five minutes. I leave it and then I go over it again later on for five minutes just to double make sure that it's set because, you know, nobody wants leaky clothes. That'd be weird. My pencil is broken, but I do have other ones. So these are just fabric pencils. They're like a chalk. You can get them online. You can get them, I think they come in like little triangle shapes as well and you mark fabric with them. But I used the red one. I, the only reason I used the red one is because I was making a sunflower that was yellowy orange coloured and having red mix with the colours wasn't a big deal. 
but it does wash off if you're going to use it on other things like t-shirts and things like that but you know different colors um i don't really have anything else to tell you because that's the only things that i used but if you do have any questions please leave them in the comments below because i'd be happy to answer them what else the hat's not quite finished but if you do want to see it finished the link for our instagram will be down below also the hat will go up for sale not this exact one because this is going to be a present but the photos of that one will go up because we'll do custom ones they'll be slightly different but still have sunflowers on them so if you're interested in a sunflower hat check out the etsy shop maybe not today because i won't get it up today because i'm tired but i will in the next week <laughs> so thanks everyone for coming and hanging out and we'll see you next time